It's like he actually keeps getting less and less intelligent as time goes on. Gay Delamath is a white supremacist. You have yet to prove that with any evidence at all. He supports the genocide of communisty. What the hell's communisty? Do you mean communist? No, I don't support genocide of communist countries. I just don't agree with the government because the government's really corrupt and it's been proven that it's actually more detrimental to people's liberties than a capitalist government. LGBTQ and people of color. And he's also against people who are Jewish. Proceeds to ignore the fact that I have, like, I have a few, like, almost a, maybe four or five gay friends. I have a trans friend. I have a bisexual relative in my family. One of the people who I really look up to and respect is a bisexual man. And everyone you claim would be a person of color has never been targeted by me because I have several friends who are different ethnic minorities than myself. Another thing, you're also talking to someone who has Jewish heritage on the on his great grandfather's side. So fuck off. <sighs> you fucking retard. Gage has huge support supporters of neo Nazis who hate minorities. No, I criticize neo Nazis and I actually make fun of people who believe that bullshit because it's genuinely a retarded ideology that only an idiot would genuinely believe. Gage and his fellows like to bully people who don't share their same views as him because he will use his audience to bully you. No, you act like a whiny little dick piece of shit to people, calling them a bunch of assholes for being against being a nonce, and then you started spurging out because you couldn't justify your dumbass fucking opinions to anyone except yourself. I'm not going to be told I'm all these horrible things when I'm genuinely not by some retarded British pedophile who decides to get a stick royally up his ass because he doesn't like people criticizing his fucked up behavior. People of color, people of the LGBTQ community, and finally, people who share left-wing views don't subscribe to Gage Lama because he will not have your backs. So instead, subscribe to me since I'm here to support everyone. No, you support pedophiles. You support pedophiles. The fact that you have to blatantly lie about someone as a way to try to rally support for yourself shows you're pathetic. Because you know that you're lying, and the sad part is, despite all the evidence to the contrary of everything you just said in this little bullshit paragraph mini-manifesto, it's either you actually believe it because you're retarded, or you're just a lying piece of shit who's doing everything he can to try to sink someone out of butthurt because they called you a dumbass on the internet. And more importantly, it's not bullying you. You decided to go up to people and pester them and be an asshole. No one was sent after you. A person has the right to defend themselves from the shit you say. And other people have the right to defend, to defend their friends from shit you say about them that's not true. It's not people attacking you because I somehow sent them after you. I wanted people to know what was being said, that way if they felt like they wanted to say something, they could. That's not the same thing as me actually saying to go get them. Another thing, you have no right at all to bitch and whine about people's audience criticizing you and calling you a dumb bastard when you actively send people rape and death threats routinely as a way to try to threaten them into silence. Like, I don't get why it is that if someone makes fun of you or calls you a nasty little asshole for doing that, it's the end of the fucking world. But you're allowed to do that kind of shit left and fucking right whenever you decide it's convenient. Make up your mind. Are you the person that's going to be allowed to moral fag, or is everyone else automatically wrong? It can't be both. It's either you can moral fag about something, but you're still wrong because you're just doing it to try to make yourself look morally correct... Or, you're do everyone's wrong, and you're doing it for legitimate reasons, which, in this case, you're not. All you're doing is virtue signaling to people who don't even acknowledge your fucking existence with the hopes that they will somehow get, get behind you and get support. Let's be honest, no one is stupid enough to believe what you say without any sort of evidence. Or at least they shouldn't be. Another thing, that person that was a, quote, audience member of mine, no. It was some random dipshit, most likely you, on an alt account because it's the kind of gay ops you'd pull. And I don't say gay ops is in a slim, like some sort of slur towards gay people. I'm referring to the internet colloquialism where someone pulls some retarded shit masquerading as someone else, trying to instigate conflict just to paint the person they antagonized as the bully. Like, that's the kind of shit that you'd do. You'd start a fight, and then when someone punches you, you say that they did it for no fucking reason. It's not. You're just being a shitty little liar. 
like always. I'd also like to address this little comment here, because me privating videos is not me trying to cover up evidence of stupid shit. It's me straight up saying I'm not going to get flagged for shit because the serial false flagger that wrote this fucking post is constantly looking for shit that they can try to flag under bullying guidelines because apparently if you're the special sped who needs to constantly try to tell himself that he's the arbiter and what is and is not bullying, then that's his way of silencing people who dissent from his dumbass views. And don't you dare say, well, you're bullying me, you're bullying me. Dude, you're almost 18. You're nearly an adult. And you're behaving like a fucking three-year-old that found out he wasn't getting a cookie. Grow the fuck up. Why is it that you're willing to start fights with people, but when people tell you to get fucked and stop being a pest and trying to censor them or control what they say, you throw a damn tantrum like a little asshole. Here's an idea. If you want people to not speak about you, to not give you grief, then don't be the dick that's constantly doing shit to get their acknowledgement in a negative way. It's not my fault your parents can't be fucked to monitor you for more than three seconds without getting bored and doing something else with their time. It's not everyone else's job to watch you because your parents can't be asked to. If you really want people to leave you the fuck alone, then stop being the dumb dick that goes up kicking a hornet's nest and then screams about it when they get stung. Another thing, stop with all the fucking lying. No one believes the motherfucker you're copying because he's fucking nuts. And no one believes you either because you're drinking the same retarded dumbass Kool-Aid, except you're even less intelligent because you're trying to openly portray it as true instead of hiding it behind some sort of dipshit paywall like he did. I mean, the sad part is you're actually airing your slander in public where people can openly see it and rip it the fuck to pieces. I mean, the sad part is you're not even trying to be clever about it like that dumbass did. That's how dumb you are. You're dumber than an actual schizophrenic because you're genuinely stupid enough to post this shit in the public where people can easily spot it. And then you're outraged that it affects you negatively because you're a dumbass fucking chode. Seriously, if you got a problem... Learn to handle it like a fucking man and just criticize the person directly for what they did instead of making bullshit up, dragging shit up from years ago just to try to give yourself a case, or simply stamping your feet and threatening them with violence or death or relying on false flagging campaigns to shut them down. If you cannot handle being told that your ideas are stupid by someone that knows that they are, then maybe you shouldn't maintain an online presence where you attach your name or any of your activities to shit. Because realistically, you're setting yourself up for mockery and admonishment at every opportunity. If you're so damn dumb, you don't learn from the 3rd, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th time. If you're getting into the umpteenth number when you get your ass handed to you for being a lying dumbass, then maybe throw in the fucking towel and call it a day. Another thing, if I'm a quote, white that by my dad, then why is my partner mixed race? Another thing, why is it that if I'm such an evil neo-Nazi, then explain to me why the fuck it is you're hanging out with Ronnie Vane's retarded ass, who's openly cited websites like Vanguard America, who was written by actual white supremacists and white nationalists, to try to discredit Jenny Ranilla. I don't get why the fuck it is that you hang out with someone who actually cites white nationalist websites as sources of information that they use, and at the same time, you don't think that's a little bit sketchy? Or is it, well, he stuck my toe so he's not bad, but you bad because you mean. If you don't like it, leave the internet. People are not going to agree with your dumbass fucking views, especially when they are legitimately stupid views that only idiots hold. It is not my fault you can't be bothered to do any research before you make some stupid intellectual tripe where you babble about nothing. <laughs>